Hello everyone. Uh, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use morph targets from a devs character to essentially take an, um, an animation and make her breasts move side to side as she walks. Uh, it's fairly simple in 4.25 of Unreal so it shouldn't take too much time. Let me just open up my animation, maximize it. Uh, let's make her look a little bit bigger here. And all you basically do is you're just using curves. Um, let's see here. I don't think they have Asset details. Okay, it doesn't show them on the. They don't have a window to show the morphs, but they'll come up. As I have uh, quite a collection of morphs on this character. So as long as you export out of Daz with all your morphs, it's a piece of cake. So basically you just click on curves right here. This is what you want to do. You need to have a curve. So you add curve and <coughs> here's a list of all my curves that I have. Or not curves, but morphs attached to the character plus as it's showing the other curves that are listed here, which are those ones right there. But you add curve. And I have, where is it at, where is it at, breast side to side. Alright, so now you go down to edit curve. Now let me pause this, make it a lot easier. I go from the beginning, got a line right here, go to add key, uh, right click on the key, select it as auto, put the position at 1.0. I mean, later on we're going to change this back to zero, but for right now, let me zoom out so I see the full numbers here. All right, we got our one and our minus one. All right, so let's see here. Let's drag through and see where we want to hit the next side to side. We want that one actually right there. So right about, oop, lost my, oh that's it. Alright, this is a pretty short animation then. So, so you want that one there, and this side here. Okay, so add curve again, or add key. We'll put this one at negative one. And we'll put one in the middle as, let's see, we'll, actually, we'll put it at zero for right now. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take this one, put this one at zero for a starting point. This one right here, we still need to, we need want to put them all at auto so you get a nice smooth transition. Auto. Okay. So let's see here, she start off, uh, this will definitely be, oops, all right. This right here we'll want as our zero position. Oh, I guess it'll only go to the edges. All right, so this one I don't have much experience with because so short. So I want step forward here. We're going to want this one at, we'll place a key here, and key. We'll put this one at one. And let's go ahead and put it at auto while we're here. So I want zero. One. And over there. Alright, it works easier when you have a zero to zero. So maybe this one. So yeah, I think we want this first one at one. Now I didn't do a practice run on this one, just to let you know. 
but it's still all right well that's I already had that one but it's still pretty simple all right I right, found so we don't want that like that do we we want I think this first one we actually want it negative one. And let's play this. Alright, yeah, that looks pretty good. So key here's the cool thing about 4.25. So in 4.24, when I bring up so you have an option on click on it, store curves in 4.25. So this is going to make it really easy to make the tank top follow. Because now all I have to do is add another curve, go down to my tank top, which are down here quite a ways, press side to side right here, click that. See this is the new one because it's got the flat curve. Sometimes it's hard to tell. At least in this one actually puts them all below each other. 4.24 would like throw them in the middle. It would put them where the others were at were like the tank top for the breast so throw the next one in under the breast if you had other stuff going on so now we edit this curve and it shows you the last curve so this is the tank top so now all we have to do is apply one stored curve bam and now when we watch it we don't have to do any fixes to anything See, automatically puts everything exactly where the last one was. It makes it so much easier because it took me like a good hour on my last animation in 4.24 to line the tank top up with the breasts and then zoom around it, fix, move the curves around to try to fix any pop out and stuff like that. So that's basically about it. See how easy that was? And now I have bouncing breasts when she walks apply this and we'll save it and then you do the same thing for others like I'll do the run one real quick so then I can show you what it looks like in the game uh, run we got a sprint run that's a pose okay we don't want that <coughs> run 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 forward okay so now we'll do the same thing on this we'll add curve Add curve, go down to whatever whatever you want to do. I mean, it doesn't have to be a breast thing. I'm just using that as an example because I purposely added the breast more so that I could do this to my walk and run animations and jumping so it can go up and down. So I add curve. Now I click on curve again to edit curve. And we'll zoom out so we can have a full one-to-one -one showing so once again add curve or add key I mean I always say curve select auto I'll put this one at one it's always just a easy point to start at I have a feeling this one will probably be a lot like where to go this one will probably be a lot like the other one add key oh I just put them down here no? Where's that? Oh, that's right. You gotta move the timeline. So I'll bring one to the end. Gotta unselect that. Add key. I'll select it as auto. Put this at, say, negative one, which will probably wind up being the same as the other one. We'll go ahead and move to the middle. Because then we can just move them around as we need to unselect that. I always forget to do that. Put this as auto. Now you might need to add more keys depending on how long your animation is, how much movement there is. So you see this one, obviously she's starting off on the left foot. So I want this at... Uh, select it. Select it. Okay. I want this one at negative one. And, and we'll want... Actually, right about, uh, 
right about here. We'll probably want this at neutral. So let's just add in our key real quick. Add key. Put this at zero. Auto. This one right here, we're going to want this at 1. So it's going to be all the way to the right. Total to her right, our left, obviously. And then, probably don't actually have to add a neutral one right there, because it's going to automatically want to switch to this. Alright, so let's play this. Actually, let's see what happens. It should be fine if I just delete this one probably be smoother too. Yeah. Alright, see that looks pretty good. Now I'll go ahead and right click on here anywhere as long as you don't have any of your nodes selected. As long as they're all white, then it'll bring up store curves. So let's store that. Go back to the run and now we will add another curve. Add curve. We'll add this one for the tank top for the same thing. Breast side to side. Right there. Now we will click on it, select Edit Curve, and apply one stored curve. Bam. Good to go. Press play, and now there we got it. Pretty easy, pretty quick actually. Yeah, I mean, you know, it took a couple tries to get the hang of it, but I had some experience from 4.24, and that, you know, kind of took a little effort. So, well now the footsteps are gone. But they were there. I, I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. But, now there we go. Bang, 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 bang. Easy peasy. Uh, let's go ahead and save everything. I always want to click save all. Unless you have something open that you're messing with that you're not sure about, then don't se select all, but... In other words, if this thing locks up and you didn't select save and you accidentally press the skip, skip um, auto import thing when it pops up your list of stuff, because I've done that a few times, then you're starting all over. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Actually, let me show you what it's like. Let me select free camera mode and. It'll look much different, does it? Hmm. Maybe there's something else going on here. Let me check the blend space. But that's... That's actually just particular to this particular... Um, to this particular... No, oh, I see. Walks. Side to side run side to side but under ordinary circumstances you'll just be using particular animations in a blend pose this ALS system is kind of weird and it's, it, I'm still getting used to it but there's you have it there's in the blend space showing from idle Oops. actually I'll let go of it to walk tippy toed almost <laughs> to run. And you basically do the same thing for sprint and you know whatever else you're gonna do. But this is just a basic how to in 4.25 and how much easier it is in this one compared to 4.24. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And I plan on having something else here soon. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do next. I'll probably have at least one more video today though, so my goal for the week is anywhere from one to as many as I want videos pretty much every day for the rest of the week. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helps people out. Um, it's a nice added feature for 4.25 on how much easier it makes. I mean, there's possibility. Maybe 4.24 had that option, but I don't remember right clicking and seeing anything about storing your curves. I could probably go back and check though. But that's how much easier it is here in 4.25, and I hope this helped you out. And sorry about my rambling. So, 
Anywho, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.